Hi everyone. Um, today we're going to talk about theme. So whether you're doing a um, photography or a um, visual art um, or painting folio board, it's really important to have a theme. Um, so if you've kind of thought about what you want to photograph or draw, so for example, I'm going to carry on with my um, cat theme. So uh, I did this PD with um, Esther Hansen in Auckland and she gave us this um, really wonderful resource. So, so basically what you can do with whatever you've chosen, um, you can, I've, I've actually shared it on Schoology as well, um, looking at your thing, your idea in, in the context of all of this. So the first one was language. Okay, so if I'm thinking about my cat, and I can think about the language around cats. Um, so that could be the cat's body language, it could be the fact that they say meow. Um, so whatever your theme is, it's like what might be the language around that. Um, so I've I found a nice chart that sort of had you know sign language, so it had all the cat's body movements and, and what that's about. Um, the second theme was identity. So again, this is going to, I've just straight out Googled that and I found a nice picture of um, a cat looking in the mirror and seeing a lion. Um, so it's kind of like, who does this thing think he is? Um, that sort of direction you can go in with that. Um, next, next one's the body. So we can look at um, either breaking down parts of the body, so for example, eyes, tail, ears, feet, they can all sort of say something about your character. Um, I mean if you've chosen a subject like the mountains, then again it's sort of looking at the, the whole thing and then looking at the details. So obviously depending on what your choice is, the um, you know, the, the, the things are going to come up differently. So, so I've just done it just by googling these things, so for example I've said cat body and just looked at what comes up with that and, and you know some some of these um, categories will be better than others the next one is time um, so for that I just kind of I found a lovely picture of a saber-toothed tiger because that's like you know, the obviously cat ancestors um, another word you can use instead of time could be history so you could look at um, what is the history of the subject, how has it been portrayed by other artists in the past. Uh, next category is uh, spir spirituality or religion. Um, so I just automatically thought of you know cats in Egypt, so you know the whole kind of mummified cat and that kind of thing. Um, again, you know this may or may not be relevant to your subject. Uh, next one, science. What I found with science was there's a lot of, um, you know, little memes and things and, and, you know, that kind of, the cat dressed up as Einstein and that sort of thing. I prefer to sort of stay away from that, try and maybe delve a bit deeper there. Uh, anyway, I found a nice, nice picture of cats in space suits and things. Um, anatomy can be another avenue that you can explore through science. Next one's culture. So I found on the you know the cat with the paw and the you know the so there's this sort of good luck Chinese thing going on there. Um, pattern and direct, uh, decoration. So again, that's when you are um, you know so I, again I've, I've just googled cat pattern and decoration. So I've um, chosen one that's got multiple images of cats and it creates a pattern. Of course I could have gone the other way with you know big cat um, leopard skin patterns that kind of thing that's another way that you can go with that. Um, okay so the next one is political so I've actually got this picture of um, Gareth, what you, what's his name? Gareth? The, the political, you know the guy who hates cats um, you know, so, so I guess when, when we're looking at politics, it's sort of, what's an issue around my subject matter? Um, 
does does everyone share the same ideas that I do about that? Because I mean, I love my cat. I think my cat's great. Some people hate cats, and you know, so it's kind of looking at the whole picture. What do other people think about my subject matter? Uh, next one's mapping. So um, you know, again, if you Google this, you might have sort of a um, where does the cat go? I actually found some things sort of saying where the domestic cat. Um, where in the world are they popular? Um, you know, just even the, the, the idea of a map is it's, it can be quite a beautiful thing in itself. Um, it's definitely something that uses layers when we're talking about themes. Okay, next one's fantasy. So I kind of um, looked at, you know, Cheshire Cat. I mean, obviously it can be sort of um, ha how your subject matter has been depicted, perhaps. Um, I think it's really important to sort of try and get past just looking at it from a Disney perspective um, because then, then you also have copyright issues there as well where you know if, if you're just grabbing something that someone else has already interpreted there's not much space for originality there um, so so another way you can kind of go like if you find yourself in a in an old-fashioned story, like I did the sort of um, Puss in Boots, is that um, if you go traditional, then you get away from the latest Shrek movie or, or whatever, which is what will be sort of at the top of the Google playlist. Okay, so next one is uh, fashion. So I, I found this picture where they, they literally got cats' heads and just plonk them on these 70 characters and I thought it was quite cool, I quite liked it. Um, so I mean, so really it, it is a matter of kind of exploring this, seeing what comes up and then seeing what actually appeals to me here. Sometimes it'll be in the, those first ones that you come up with and other times you kind of keep looking through and you find stuff. The other thing is, in this um, scenario, it's perfectly acceptable to just sort of go off down the rabbit hole and just find a whole lot of cool stuff. And I mean, that, that's the idea of this really, is that you actually find something that appeals to you, that you're kind of like, yeah, wow, this is really cool, I like this. And then taking it somewhere else, because I mean, obviously, it's never okay to just take someone else's cool idea and copy it outright. You really need to kind of, okay, um, even if you sort of take two or three different ideas and combine them, um, you know, that that's sort of how you create originality. Because a lot of the time when we sort of do things and we think it's come out of our head, it actually hasn't because everything that's in there has come from somewhere. So, I mean, I think it's really good sort of documenting your inspiration. So then you can see, okay, so this is this is what I'm coming from, this is where I've um, derived my idea from, and this is where I've gone with it. So, so you've sort of springboarded from here and ended up here. And if we can see the image from your inspiration, we can see that. Okay, so next one is um, storytelling, so that's back to, it's, uh, I like the story of um, Puss in Boots, and I actually went back to an old... Um, ladybird cover just because it was a bit different but I mean also um, you know you can find all sorts of really lovely illustrations if you sort of delve a bit deeper as well um, yeah so, so I mean again back to the mountains I mean obviously if you were doing something like that you could look at the old um, the Pihanga legend um, yeah. okay so structure and architectural um, off the top of my head, I'd sort of probably think of some of those places where you sort of see cats everywhere, you know, like the Greek islands, and um, you can sort of look at, at where, you know, what, what sort of the place that my subject matter hangs around. Well, that brings me back to place, which is another cat so that I skipped before. But anyway, um, place, um, so I sort of thought the whole thing with cats and boxes. So if you sort of get your subject matter and you're putting it some, it's sort of putting it into context, it's sort of creating more of an interest around it. So I, th I think that's the whole point of, of this um, theme idea is, is to actually make 
other people interested in your subject matter because the reality is you know, if, if I'm looking at my cat I'm probably pretty much the only person that's or, or people that like cats we're the only ones that are interested in snapshots of my cat or your boyfriend or girlfriend nobody cares you know nobody's interested in in your boyfriend or girlfriend except you and, and maybe their mother um, so it's kind of finding a theme that's actually of interest to more people how do I make someone interested in my subject matter how can I extend it beyond just being special to me